Are you struggling to have people give you the respect you think you deserve? Well, you have come to the right place to learn how to do that. Just watch this video to the end to learn how to do that immediately. As humans, we have a natural need to be liked and respected by our family, friends, peers, and co-workers. It normally takes years of exhibiting good character to be respected or to earn the respect of others. There are, however, a few exceptions in which you can be appreciated in an instant without having to wait years. I've compiled a list of how to command respect immediately when you encounter someone and there's an explanation to all that. But before I go into those tricks, make sure you subscribe to the fourth and like this and share this video and turn on your notifications post. Let's go into the first trick to do to command respect in an instant. Number one, prolong your eye contact. Are you the type to gaze everywhere but in the eyes of the person you are speaking with? Holding your look when you meet another person's gaze is an important technique to communicate mutual respect. It can improve communication and perhaps make you appear more authentic and important. Eye contact can increase your credibility and make your comments more memorable. Try meeting someone's eyes as they speak the next time you talk to them. You may experience a heightened sensation of closeness which will command you some respect. Number 2. Don't be afraid to confront your weaknesses. You may believe that to demand respect, you must conceal any indicators of weakness or weaknesses as much as possible and maintain a mask. After all, what could make you appear less deserving of respect and praise than making a mistake? However, the truth is frequently exactly the reverse. Overconfidence and overcompensation can frequently lead to others suspecting you of concealing something or being dishonest. People do not necessarily care about your flaws or failures. We are all humans. They may instead judge you based on how you accept and cope with your mistakes, as well as your ability to be vulnerable. You can gain confidence and respect by honestly expressing and tackling your weaknesses. Number 3. Give frequent, genuine compliments. When you see others succeed, whether they are friends or enemies, it is extremely simple to be envious. You may believe that you can justify tearing down or undermining the success of others. Still, you'd appear envious and self-absorbed, which can cause you to lose others' respect. Respecting and complimenting others can generate respect for oneself, since it communicates your authenticity and goodwill to others. A single compliment can mean a lot to some people, and they will often remember the help and respect you have shown them in the future. Giving a genuine congratulations could go a long way. Dress to impress. The first impression you make in each person you encounter is nearly always the first sign of your likability. While your natural appearance is beyond your control, the way you dress is which allows you to influence others' first perceptions of you. Clothes can enhance your confidence and serve as a kind of self-expression that can help you command respect. While most people dress to fit in with others to avoid being evaluated, you should dress in a way that makes you feel your best and allows you to stand out with your particular flair. This could include dressing in a way that helps you stand out, wearing clothes that highlight the attractiveness of your body type, and dressing in a way that makes you feel more confident. One of the simplest methods to get respect is to improve your initial impression. Number 5. Respond, not react. Control your emotions. Everyone has an emotional or physical reaction to particular topics or situations. Do you tend to react instinctively or emotionally to things good or bad? Those with strong emotional control, the ability to retain personal composure in the face of stress or excitement, are frequently more respected and likable. This is not to argue that you should repress your feelings to be respected. Rather, you should consider which emotions are suitable to express in certain settings. To better understand your emotions and moderate your reactivity, ask yourself, am I prepared to deal with the unexpected? Or can expressing my feelings in this situation help me achieve my goal? Number 6. Become an attentive listener. Do you know somebody who goes on and on about nothing? When you finally get a chance to speak, do they interrupt you to tell you about themselves? Or do they disregard what you say and redirect the conversation back to them. Is this person deserving of your respect, especially if they don't value what you have to say? You'd most likely say no. To foster an atmosphere of mutual respect among others, everyone's thoughts and opinions should be valued. To command respect, you must always learn to be an attentive and engaged listener. This can give others the impression that they and their opinions are appreciated and well thought of, leading others to return the respect and attention. You can demonstrate your active listening skills by paraphrasing and validating their remarks or by asking pertinent questions to deepen the dialogue, making them feel heard and understood. Number 7. Exude confidence through your body language. Remember that what matters is not how you feel, 
but how the person watching you believe you feel. This is a typical issue with body language. Your non-verbal cues do not always express what you intended. You may be slouching because you're tired, but others may interpret it as apathy. You could feel more at ease standing with your arms crossed to your chest, but others will perceive as you resistive and unapproachable. And holding your hands stiffly by your side or stuck in your pockets can give the idea that you're insecure or hiding something, whether you are or not. Stand upright rather than slumping. Gaze ahead of you or at the people you are speaking to rather than at the floor and have your hands relaxed and ready to gesture when appropriate. If you fidget with your hair, clothes or hands, you'll appear bored or insecure. Maintain your body's alertness and activity to give yourself more presence. Number 8. Match your body language to your words. People trust what they see especially when your body language does not match your words. It is critical to communicate congruently, which means aligning your body to support rather than undermine an intended message. Mixed signals hurt performance and make developing trusting connections nearly hard. When your non-verbal cues contradict your vocal cues, the people you are speaking to employs clients' rotors become perplexed. And if forced to choose, people will disregard your words in favor of what your body has to say. For example, if someone is speaking to an audience about how much he or she appreciates their feedback but stands behind a lectern, leans back away from the audience or shows their hands in their pockets. The audience will believe the non-verbal signal that the person is not interested in the audience and couldn't care less about them. Number 9. Think fewer, slower, lower. Have you ever wondered why males are more likely than women to be viewed as leaders? They prefer fewer, lower and slower motions. In one study, women performed 27 main motions when entering a conference room compared to only 12 for men. Women who rise to positions of leadership apply fewer, slower movements, on par with men. Slow down and don't wave your hands around if you want to command respect. Number 10. Avoid bragging about your achievements. You may be so anxious for others to appreciate you that you feel compelled to brag about everything you've ever accomplished, from winning your first tennis award in middle school to winning the New York Marathon. However, if you work hard enough while being modest, others will learn about your accomplishments and be pleased by them. If you're the one who has to bring up all of your accomplishments, your achievements will begin to lose their shine. It may take some time for people to realize all of the wonderful things you've done, but it will be well worth the wait. That's all there is to it. Remember that commanding respect always entails respecting others. We hope you can apply some of these techniques to command the respect you deserve and require. Let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to 4th. Also remember to turn on that notification post. See you in the next video coming up.